What is up guys, Tech Labs here and in this video I will be showing you guys how you can downgrade from the iOS 10 to iOS 9.3.2 and iOS 9.3.3 with saving all of your files except for iMessages and Messages. So unfortunately those things are not saved but the rest are saved. So guys without any further ado let's just go ahead and get started. So guys there are a few things needed for that downgrade and the first thing is the iDevice that are currently running the iOS 10 version. Next, we need to have a computer or a Mac uh, in order to make this downgrade. And the third thing is a RPSW or a firmware of the iOS 9.3.2 or iOS 9.3.3, which is going to be in that website. So guys, I'm going to have this website in the description. So first thing you do, guys, is you basically go to this website. Now, you need to select a device right here. So in this case, I'm selecting my iPhone 5 which is a global version. So uh, there are a few, a few other versions like a GSM and a global. So why I mean global, because there is a uh, model here. So it's A1429, this is a global version. And if you have something different, you probably need to download this one GSM version. But in this case, I'm downloading global. So click here. Now you have to specify a firmware uh, for which you need to downgrade to so this is uh, the one that is shown in the green color because this one is designed and you are able to download to downgrade to this framework so i'm gonna use this one and now click download all right guys so after it's done downloading you need to drag this firmware onto your desktop you need to find it in the download section of your mac or windows and drag it in here in your desktop to make it easily accessible now you need to on go to the itunes and connect your device just like this so it should be connected to your um, pc or mac and now you can go to all right here on your device uh, uh, icon here and now there's a trick guys on the computer or just pc you need to click on the shift button and hold it and then click on this button right here so just like this oh but on the mac as i see here so i need to click option and hold it and now click this button right here i know it sounds illogical probably when we click on the check for update and then update our iphone but it is how it is so it will just do a downgrade believe me i'll show you later so now you need to specify to which firmware you should uh, downgrade to. So it will be on our desktop right here. So the same one as we see here. So now click on this firmware and now click update. So now guys, it should be uh, downgrading our iPhone and later I'll come back after it's done. Alright guys, so it just, just downgraded my iPhone to the iOS 9 and there I have some kind of error message but just ignore this one, click OK and that's gonna be fine. Just wait a couple of minutes until it will load up everything and clean up everything. So that is fine, that is a normal beha behavior of the downgrade process. Alright, so we are in the iPhone. Just like I said previously, this downgrade takes not much knowledge and just time but we now have the iOS 9.3.2 installed on this iPhone and the same wallpaper from the iOS 10 so I think that looks dope. Now we do not have any messages like I said before but you probably can uh, back up all of them in the I iCloud backup or to your computer I don't really know but uh, anyways we have some photographs that were on the iOS 10 on this device now we have every single app remaining right here and yeah, just everything that we had previously. So yeah, guys, if you like that video, make sure you click the like button and also please subscribe to the channel to give me a huge, huge, huge support on my channel. And this was Alex with you from Tech Labs. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.